NSA Ajit Doval will arrive in Moscow today for pre-planned talks on defense and energy ties, and the visit gains weight after US President Trump threatened new tariffs on India. On 27 February 2019, Ejection seat manufacturer Martin Baker tweeted that its ejection seats had saved 7,597 pilot lives, coincidentally the same day India shot down a Pakistani F-16. It is to be noted that Pakistan bought 13 F-16 fighter jets from Jordan in 2014, that use Martin Baker seats, which again proves that Indian Air Force MiG-21 did shoot down a Pakistani F-16. The DRDO has confirmed that the naval LR SAM missile being developed for the Indian Navy under Project Kusha will have a range of 300 kilometers, and this naval variant will be specifically optimized to engage and neutralize Mach 7 anti ship ballistic missiles, offering new terminal phase interception capability for warships. Pakistan Air Force has once again issued a fresh no time for its airbase runway that was hit by India in May 2025, and it will remain closed until 15 August 2025 for repairs. Brahmos Aerospace will establish a missile manufacturing unit in Jayantipuram, Andhra Pradesh. The 800-acre site will produce advanced variants like the Brahmos 2 hypersonic missiles for the Indian Armed Forces and exports. Hindustan Shipyard Limited has successfully completed the normal refit of the Kilo-class submarine INS Sindhu Kirti under a 934 crore rupees contract. Bangalore's Prime Toolings has showcased India's first rotating detonation engine, designed for next-generation missiles and rockets. It offers up to 25% greater fuel efficiency compared to conventional propulsion systems, with potential application for missile ranges of 500 km and speeds above Mach 5. After Larsen and Tubro built Jorawa prototype, TAR to Advanced Systems Limited is now set to unveil its first light tank prototype based on the RDO's Jorawa platform, but with design adaptations and modifications introduced by engineering team of Tata, that includes changes to the hull, fire control system, power units, crew layout powertrain suspension and electronics. The Defence Ministry is involving multiple private firms to develop light tanks using Jorawa design, that will foster competition and expand indigenous capability. The Indian Navy has initiated talks with Hindustan Aeronautics to develop a Navy-specific combat air teaming system. The Navy has already selected the Abbey Manu carrier-based unmanned wing Mumbai New Space Research and Technologies, and integrating the Naval Cats Warrior ecosystem will enhance strike capabilities in the Indian Ocean. The Indian Air Force has denied reports, claiming that India is evaluating South Korea's KF-21, stating that the 4.5 generation KF-21 is not on the shortlist of evaluated platforms. The KF-21 has neither been offered to India, nor has the Indian Air Force expressed any interest in acquiring the platform. According to latest information, the RDO's Virupaksha radar project will run for 40 months under a development come production partner contract, and about 200 Indian Air Force test sorties have been planned. The work will be done in four overlapping phases to save time, and the radar will be integrated at Hal Nashik and will be flight tested by the Indian Air Force's aircraft and systems testing establishment. Officials have said that the integration of Israeli LM-2052 radar into the Tejas Mark 1A aircraft requires fresh certification of the Astra Mark 1 missile, as it was previously paired with a mechanically scanned DLM-2032 radar. The new ELM-2052 radar's electronic beam steering changes signal processing, data link protocols and fire control alignment, demanding recalibration and updates to the mission computer and stores interface unit. Today's top 3 comments. Thank you.